Hello everyone! We're back with the completionist farm today because I actually had a lot of fun doing it yesterday and I was thinking about it overnight so we're gonna do it again today. I realized that I should just be spending this time upgrading the last of my skills. Like I said, I only have a few more to go. Mining, fishing, and combat. So I'm gonna keep picking away at those while fishing for the rest of the fish I need today. Hopefully I can find a few more. Before I do anything, I've gotta clean up this mess. And that's good enough. Obviously, first things first, we've got to go see the animals tucked cozily into their barns, and today we might actually take care of them. And yes, I did forget to feed my chicken yesterday, that's probably why I got a regular egg. So there you go, a little bit of food for you, you're a happy little chicken. And actually, I guess I could probably feed it the whole stack right now, and then it would last for four days, because I'm definitely going to forget by the next time I play this. Can I withdraw two? Nope, just one at a time. Unless I move over one inventory spot, but too late now. There you go, chicken. Happy life. Now, I have this cleverly hidden chest right here that I use for my milking pail and whatever else I might need for these animals. None of them are really big enough to bother with, with the exception of the goat and cow, so all I need so far is a milker. And these ones auto-feed, so they're my favorite animals ever. And they're really happy when you milk them. There's one large milk and one... regular goat milk. I do think I needed one of those for the community center, but not anymore. Also, I could be putting this goat milk into the cheese press or whatever it's called, and it turns it into goat cheese, so I'm going to do that for the first time ever. Also going to check the bat cave right away, then the greenhouse, because I'm not really sure what the progress of those are at. I'll make a mental note today, that way I know for sure in the future. Uh, those aren't super close. Nothing there is super close. It's going to be at least a week before anything there is ready to go, by my guesstimate. What I'm going to do now is go to the secret woods and hopefully catch a wood skip, which I believe is in there, and maybe whatever else because I need the rest of the fish. Collect that so it can start a new one. Not sure what I needed the syrups for, some kind of crafting no doubt. And I might also try some night fishing in the ocean tonight. I think that's when I'm gonna have an opportunity to catch something. I can't remember what, but something. So I'll do that. Also, this is a little bit of a chance to upgrade combat. Going from level nine to 10 is always the hardest because that's 50% more experience than your entirety of getting to level nine. So. It's going to take a while, but you just keep picking away at it like this, and before you know it, you'll be there. Also, might as well collect these, because they might be good for something. Anyways, let's hope we get a wood skip right away, then we can move on to the desert to get a sand skip. And then, hopefully, maybe there's some other creature somewhere else we can catch. We got something right away. You can catch regular fish in here, though, too, so it might take a little while. I'm not sure if winter's even the appropriate season to do this, but we'll find out. I definitely want to catch everything I can during this winter because I don't know if this series is going to make it to next winter. We did get a treasure chest full of wood. I was really hoping that was going to be a rare artifact. Look, the bubbles. I don't actually off the name for the bubbles because I feel like I get less quality fish from those, but maybe I'm wrong. That might have been back in my fishing exploit days when I would just catch whatever fish I wanted anyway, so it wasn't worth my trouble. There's another silver quality carp, which is pretty useless, but I'll take it. It's still a fish. That's still fishing skill. This one's a little more rambunctious. This might be the one I'm looking for. I probably should put a cork bobber on, but I'm not really having trouble catching anything. Ah, there it is. A wood skip. Perfect. Not sure if there's anything else here worth catching, and I'm not going to bother. I'm going to go straight to the desert for a sand skip. So unfortunately, we have to take our lives into great peril by riding Pam's bus. And on the way there, I'm going to dump everything off in the bin because I keep getting my inventory cluttered so bad. And I should probably be riding my horse around everywhere. I always forget I have it because I always cheat now and I don't use horses. Horses are invaluable to progress. Oh, and we have a secret Santa or secret friend as they call it here. Sam. Oh, Sam's not getting a gift. I don't like Sam. Gonna keep that. Gonna keep that. Okay, everything else can stick with me at least for now because I don't have time to declutter. I'll do that tonight. To the Pam. She should be right here. She's never sick. The alcohol preserves her. I want to hold these up real quick, just in the off chance there is something rare. It's going to be the one that I don't collect. It's going to be something I need. I already have that one. Like I said, I think I've already got pretty much everything you can hoe out of the ordinary ground, because I've been doing it for four seasons by horse. But I don't know. I should also hoe up the desert, because I really don't remember. And I think I still need a prismatic shard. But that's going to be a Skull Cavern adventure in itself, probably, because I don't have the galaxy sword. Not that that's an indication of it, because if I got a prismatic shard, the first one's probably going to uh, the museum. Because that's really going to take priority over getting the galaxy sword. But that's still something I need to do, really. Rocks? You'd think there'd be something good to find in the desert, because you got to work quite a while to get here. But oh well. 
Also, now that I'm here, I should really stop in at the casino because I'm pretty sure there's going to be stuff there I need and I never bother with the casino anymore. Anyways, let's try and get the sand skip, hopefully before it gets dark out. Then we can hit the casino for a bit, do some gambling, lose our shirt, and then go to the ocean to hopefully catch something rare and exotic at night. Ooh, this might be a good one. The harder fighting fish are always rarer and more valuable, which is pretty obvious, but... Oh, that was easy. Oh, it's a sand fish. That wasn't a new record. Have I caught one of those before? I doubt that. I feel like I've never fished here in my life. But we got a sand fish. Maybe I bought one along the way from the traveling merchant. Well, all right. This one's fighting again. The same thing. It takes off really hard right away and then calms down. There's actually different classifications for how the fish act. It's pretty cool to actually look at if you look on the Wikipedia page. And there's another one. All right. Let's go to the casino then. I don't have time for all this. See what what's your name has to sell. Also, I need to sell a bunch of every crop, so I'm going to have to buy some stuff from her. A cutscene? What is this? Is this my first time here? A customer? Good business owner if you're surprised to see a single customer. Welcome to Sandy's Oasis. You look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then, the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. You could tell by the way a bus drove up on your store. I'm so happy. Me too. Give me some valuable seeds. She does sell some pretty good stuff. Anything she sells is worth growing. Sweetie, you want to buy something? Yes. I'm going to want rhubarb for spring because those are actually pretty valuable. They look speed grow. Uh, these are all good to grow in their respective seasons. And yeah, that's right. I can't go to the casino yet because I need to finish the quest line. He won't even tell me anything. This one. Uh, 10 beets inside Mayor Lewis's fridge. That's the one that's going to be a bit of a roadblock unless I can happen to find 10 beets. Beets grow here and they grow in fall. Sorry, they're bought here and grow in fall, so I'm going to have to wait for fall to finish that quest. And I don't have time for that. So for now, let's just go back to Stardew Valley. We're going to go down into the mines. We're just going to clear a few mine floors real quick just for some combat and mining experience. And then we're going to go ocean fishing because it's not evening yet. And my horse is still here. Then again, I'm pretty sure I have these working. Judging by the way, there's steam blowing out of them. All right, we're just going to go from floor 100 down. Maybe we'll find some mushrooms along the way. We got some gold for sure. Mining is always worth your time just because, well, experience, valuable stuff, and artifacts. And if you find the mushroom floor, great. Run the mushroom floor as much as you can. Actually, while I'm down here, I am going to hoe up some of this because these can actually quite often give you really good artifacts. And I don't really know which ones I need. I'm kind of winging it here. I haven't really actually looked into it, but I know I'm going to need more from down here because I don't have them all, not even close. And sometimes when you hold a big patch of these, I'll get like four new artifacts. Not this time though, of course, because you guys are watching. That's the difference. Ooh, these are good experience to break. If you see rocks like that, break them. And they'll give you gems that, you're, that are valuable. Copper. Uh, and if you have the luxury of it, make bombs or buy bombs and just use those a bunch because they're way faster mining and you still get experience. Until then, stick to gray rocks like that and gold and gems. Stick to rocks that are special. They give you the experience. Everything else is just plain rocks. I'm going to mine till about 6 p.m. Then by the time I'm at the ocean, it'll be about 7 and that's perfect for night fishing. I've got lots of items for energy, so that's not going to be a problem. The galaxy sword would be kind of nicer though. Lava rocks, those are the ones I want to be beating on. Those will get me mining experience. So if I do this for the rest of winter sort of thing, then I'll upgrade the rest of my skills fairly easily, and that'll be that. Uh, this floor, I'm just going to murder everything and then hoe everything up, and that should be about it for my mining for the day. Monster Slayer goal complete. Oh, so there you go. That's something that I have to complete, so perfect. See, you just wander around doing different tasks, and eventually everything will get done. Except for the game in the casino, or the saloon. What's it called? Journey of the Prairie King. Still going to have to do that without dying once. That's not really part of the game. That's a Steam achievement, I think, but it's super hard to do. So I don't know if that's going to be part of this or not. It really should be, but that's, that's really hard to do. All right, let's see what we get. Cave Carrot. That's going to restore energy. Another Cave Carrot. This is a really big patch, so this might be good. I remember once I found like three of the dwar dwarf scrolls on one floor doing this. That was fun. Come on, give me some good stuff. I probably should have checked my luck today. 
But this will give you guys a good idea of exactly what comes out of here. So far, not a lot of anything. Normally, it really is a lot better. It might depend on the floor, too. A magma geode isn't bad for sure. Then at least we know we got something in there. All right, come here, you. Oh, uh, it is after 6 o'clock already. Well, that's okay. I still got till like 2 a.m. to fish. Not a big deal. Just keep hoeing. Channel your inner Marnie. Hoe the world. And I do want to kill those creatures. This stuff's going to take priority over fishing for now. I got lots of time for fishing. And I don't even know if fishing's going to give me what I want or not. But then again, nothing else it really has. I'm just hoping there's like a squid or an octopus, whatever it's called, down there in the ocean. And there should be. Really? Is it not going to give me anything but cave carrots? Admittedly, normally I do do this on lower floors, so I might be too deep. This floor is done. Let's just take a peek at the next one in case there's something amazing and there's not. So we'll kill this idiot and then to the ocean. To hopefully catch some ocean bearing fish. Ocean bearing fish? Sure. We'll go back to our horse so that way we can move a little quicker. Eight o'clock already. A little bit later than I wanted it to be, but we'll be all right. It's so quiet at night. Maybe that's because they don't have the music on though. I always overlay the music so I turn it off in game. Normally I would just play it in the background, but the music tends to run out, especially in winter, pretty quickly. I'll grab that on the way back. For now, let's just cast it the big rock. And right there. Okay, give me something really rare and valuable. Game, I need it. I gotta do something to recover this day. I mean, I did upgrade some skills slightly. And complete the Monster Slayer challenge. Uh-oh, this doesn't look promising yet. This is a boring... Oh, that might redeem it though. I should actually have a treasure hunter lure on, that way I can find more treasure and therefore more artifacts. I gotta remember that for the next time I play. Alright, well that's just a boring herring. And that is more wood. Oh, look how much stuff I got though. I'm gonna have to drop something if I uh, catch a good fish. One of the problems with dropping items while you're standing beside the ocean is your item is probably gonna drop into the ocean. So whatever you're dropping, you're not getting back. Luckily I have lots of garbage that I won't miss, but keep that in mind. If you're ever fishing right here and you're like oh that's okay i can drop something underground temporarily well good luck it's not gonna happen next to the ocean the ocean's gonna eat it and i'm gonna laugh at you come on something good oh this will be good whatever this is this might be an octopus or a super cucumber perhaps it's not super hard fighting but it's hard enough that it's kind of throwing me off a bit nope back we go i'm definitely not gonna lose this okay maybe i should have the cork bobber on this would make it slightly easier but this would be a good fishing experience. I'm only level 9. I need level 10. It'll make everything just a little bit easier. Get on there. Come on. There we go. What are you? Yeah, there we go. There's my squid. That's one of the ones I was looking for. Awesome. I needed that squid pretty badly. And I think they're fairly valuable. So if I could catch another one or two by the time the day runs out, that would be acceptable. In fact, that would even be good. But I'm probably not going to because I think those are still probably fairly rare. Uh, nope, this should be a squid again. You can make calamari out of it. I think you actually can. I think you get that recipe from Gus. I love calamari. All right, there's another one. New record. Oh, both gold quality too, so those would be good. Um, We're just going to drop a few things right now. Oh, okay, so the stuff you don't want. Oh, okay, there we go. It bounced back into my backpack for once. I've never really seen it do that on the edge of a dock. Super annoying, but whatever. Squid? Yeah, we got another squid. Maybe it's after 10 o'clock they start biting because this will be three in a row if I actually catch it. And I might not. No, oh, get the squid, get the squid. Get the squid. Oops. I'm going home. I hate losing fish. I really, really do. I wonder if there was something even better than a squid. I don't really know if there is anything better you can catch right now, though. Maybe a super cucumber. Those are valuable. Whatever the case, I'm going home. Actually, before we do, let's stop at the saloon. Looks like everyone's departing anyway. Is there anyone left here? Pam, of course. She's a frequent. Is there anyone here I need to give gifts to? Shane just walked past, but I'll catch him tomorrow on Friday. And Clint. Clint wants us something. All right, let's buy Clint a beer. I hope he appreciates it. It's going to be expensive. Uh, we got to get rid of something. Uh, sap. There. One beer for my new friend Shane. No, not Shane. Clint. Other Shane. Alright, here you go, pal. 
This one is for you. This is a fun gift, thanks. You're welcome. Drinking on a Thursday. You know you've made it when. All right, again, I gotta be fairly quick because it's 12 o'clock and after one, I get my energy penalty. So I don't wanna, actually I do wanna sell those. There's no point in keeping those, I don't think. I know where to catch them if I need more. I know I always say keep one of everything, but sometimes you just don't need to if you're very, very sure they're not something you need. So I'm kind of, kind of, I'm gonna keep those. No, I'm gonna sell those. I can go to the desert and get those any old time. I have lots of these. Everything else is pretty good building materials and energy, so let's not sell anything. Oh, actually, except that. Artifacts, if you've already found them once, you might as well just sell them again. There's no point in holding on to them. Yellow is where I was keeping all my like building supplies type stuff, so clay and rocks, stuff will go in there. I remember blue was mining, so that'll probably be all the monster stuff, like this stuff. Yep. See, I am actually fairly organized. I just gotta remember where stuff goes. Those I'm just going to hold on to because I can eat for energy. And we'll see what those squids are worth overnight. I'm not going to talk to Leah really because she's already my wife and gave me my star drop. Our value for that productive little day? Look at that diverse income. 3400 gold, which isn't bad. I bought a beer for 400 I think that was my only expense. Other than that, pretty good value. The squids weren't worth as much as I thought. The other fish are worth almost as much and they're a lot easier to catch. Well, that concludes another completionist video. Thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. I'm getting this one done bright and early so I can move on to other games and other videos right away. So I hope you like this one. Thank you all for watching.